Hello Pisces, I'm Sephra and I'm here to give you your tarot scope for the month. Yes, this month I'm shaking things up a bit and I'm going to pull a tarot card for you. So if you want your astrological information, just go to the uh, overview, the horoscope overview. Um, and that gives you all the details about new moons and full moons and all that jazz. In the meantime, we're going to see what your personal tarot card is for the month and what you need to focus on. What do we have? Queen of Cups. Good for you, Pisces. And the Queen of Cups is the Pisces Queen. Now, you can Google the card uh, and look at the Rider Waite deck and you'll see a beautiful queen sitting on her throne holding the cup, the Holy Grail. So this is about trusting your intuition um, and it shows that you give really good advice and people may be coming to you for advice this month, especially maternal type of advice. Maybe they need you to hold their hand to get them get through a project. Maybe they just appreciate your intuition. Pisces does have amazing intuition and really great good gut feelings about things. And then this is a great time to pay attention to your dreams as in your nighttime and sleepy time dreams to see uh, what messages might be in store for you. And it's also a reflection on children and uh, dealing with children this month. Um, and, and, and being childlike yourself, you don't always have to be serious. And in matters of the heart, we like to see the cups in the tarot cards because the cups do represent love and romance and emotion. So if you're looking for a new romance this month in July, uh, chances are you may find one by the beach or by water, by a pool, uh, these sorts of things, splash pool, amusement parks, all these types of places you may find um, a nice partner to spend a nice summer romance with. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next month.